Welcome, I'm David. I'm Dylan. I'm Jacob. And, and we're, we're the Mecha, Mecha Men. Hey, it's David. And I'm going to explain the embedding basics on how to use our program. So first, you click Run, and this should execute our program, and the figure will appear. Um, next, you're going to want to begin by choosing a 400 by 400 RGB image. Uh, so you're going to load the normal image. Um, I'm going to pick um, this dog image. This is the image I want to embed all the other hidden images behind. So uh, the image should load. It says, my dog winks at me sometimes. I always wink back in case it's some sort of code. <laughs> Hello, this is Dylan Christensen. By using the drop-down menu, you can select from 1 to 10 images. I'm going to use image 1. Then you choose an embed method. Then the image will appear to the right. You can then choose multiple images and multiple embedding methods, or save the image. To recover the image, choose one of the corresponding recovery methods. So we'll start off by clicking red layer 1 embed. The image will appear here with this first image embedded within. We'll choose a second image. It'll have the same pop-up and we'll use the second embed method. Third image, red layer 5 embed, image 4, image 1 embed, image 5, layer 3, Image 6, green layer 5, image 7, blue layer 1, image 8, blue layer 3, image 9, blue layer 5, and... Image 10, blue layer 5, embed bottom. Then the images will all be embedded in this original RGB image, but it looks the same as the original. You can save the embedded image. This figure will pop up, and you can save it from this window. You do that by clicking the Save button, type dog or whatever you would like to name, then select JPEG image or PNG, whichever file type you'd like to save it as, and then save the image. You can close out of this window. And then to recover the images, you use the corresponding recovery method. So if you use red layer 1 embed, you're going to want to use red layer 1 recover, and so on. So red layer 1 displays the first image. Red layer 3 displays the second image. Red layer 5 displays the third image. Green layer 1 displays the fourth image. The fifth image. The sixth image. The seventh. The eighth image. The ninth image. And lastly, the tenth image. Our program allows you to use any one of the methods. However, you have to do them in 1, 3, 5 within the colors. So for example, you have to do red layer 1, red layer 3, red layer 5. But you can do the colors in any order. So you can do blue layer 1, blue layer 3, blue layer 5, and then blue layer 5 bottom, red layer 1, red layer 3, red layer 5, green 1, green 3, green 5. As long as the reds go with the reds in the 1, 3, 5 order. If you want to start over, you click the Start Over button. This clears everything, and you can start from the very beginning. I'm going to be talking about how you're going to load your image that you want to use so you can then encode the secret images um, so you can hide those secret messages. Uh, so um, what we did was we have this UI get file, um, which is the command to allow the user to pick what they want to load. So you just get to pick your image, um, and it'll prompt the user as such. Then the selected files go to, goes to um, a variable called handles.dogimage right here, um, which is a global variable, which means pretty much it can easily be accessed the rest of the function in the program. Um, then what we did is way down here, we had loaded the secret image. And the secret image is down at the bottom. We used a drop-down menu. Um, here it is, drop-down menu. And we used it by doing a switch case, which assigns the value of the hidden image um, chosen to a variable called secret image. So then we proceed to run this through our flattening function here, um, which sets all the pixel values greater than 50 um, and creates a logical array. And pretty much what this does is it outputs handles.finalsecret, um, which can later be accessed globally through the code. Hi, I'm Jacob, and I'm going to be running you through how um, our recovery and embed methods uh, function in our code. 
Uh, to start off, I'm going to go ahead and go directly to Red Layer 1 Embed. So um, we have three basic embedding methods uh, that we're going to be talking about over um, the course of this video. Uh, the first off, and they're, they're similar throughout the uh, color scheme. So for example, what Red Layer 1 Embed is very, very similar to Green Layer 1 Embed, which is very, very similar to Blue Layer 1 Embed. So um, this is because we're hiding three uh, images in each of the first two color layers, and then of course we're hiding four images in the last color layer, and we do that through resizing, which I'll talk about just a little bit later. Um, so to start off, uh, we assign um, a layer, the first layer, um, in this case because it's red, of handles.dog image to handles.dog, um, and we calculate the values of handles.dog, um, where the image, the secret image, the image that's being hidden, is equal to 1 and equal to 0. Um, we then uh, mod by 10, so divide and take the remainder, and um, through subtraction, we make the uh, values where handles.finalSecret is equal to 1, um, the last, the value of the last pixel in handles.dog becomes 1, um, and where handles.finalSecret is equal to 0, the value of the last pixel in handles.dog is equal to 0. Um, so this is kind of equivalent to even odd embedding. Uh, moving right along, red layer 3 embed is our second, uh, second example of um, our, our embedding technique. So this is basically our second um, embedding technique, the name is counterintuitive. This refers to the fact that instead of um, a 0 or a 1, we're adding a 0 or a 3. Uh, so um, well, as you can see, a lot less code. In this case, what we're doing is everywhere that handles.finalSecret is equal to 1, uh, we're adding 3 to handles.dog. Um, uh, of course, we're also technically adding 0 where it's equal to 0. You, uh, you just don't see that because um, we didn't write it in the code because adding by 0 that really doesn't affect anything. Um, red layer 5 embed is our third uh, third embedding method for uh, the red layer. Um, this is very, very similar to red layer 3 embed instead um, of however we're adding uh, 5 instead of 3. Um, and then of course we're adding adding 0 again, but uh, we, uh, that doesn't need to be written in. Um, as you can see, uh, green layer 3, you know, green layer 1 embed, almost exactly the same as uh, red layer 1 embed. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to our two methods that are a little bit different. And those are our um, blue layer recovery or embedding techniques. So blue layer um, five embed top. So in this case, um, to fit the 10 images in, we actually had to resize two of the secret images. We did that by um, reducing them uh, by a factor of one half and embedding them in the upper left for uh, blue layer five embed top and lower right hand corners for blue layer embed bottom um, of the uh, image. Now we're going to talk about recovery real quick. Um, so as is detailed in the uh, project report, um, when you divide by 10, um, we're going to get a number between uh, 0 and 9. In fact, we're going to get a very specific set of numbers. Um, there's only 8 of them uh, that we could have gotten by adding 1, 3, 5, or 0. And they are 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9, as you can see right here. Um, and each of those corresponds to a set of three binary values. Um, so for the first one, a uh, value of zero corresponds to zero, zero, zero. Um, of course, in this case, we're only accessing the uh, image from the red layer one embedding method. So it's just going to be a zero. Um, but as you can see down here in red layer three, it'd be a zero. Um, and then red layer five, it's a zero. And that whole cipher, of course, like I said, is laid out in project method or in the uh, project report. Um, the only difference, of course, uh, is in the uh, blue top and bottom um, recovery methods uh, because instead of a 400 by 400 we're using a 200 by 200 and that's just from that size reduction I mentioned earlier. When you've gotten past the energy sheet, proceed directly to the rendezvous point. Understood? Yeah. Good luck. Okay, everybody, do you see? Let's go. Right. May the force be with you. 